A major milestone for medical marijuana patients was hit over the weekend. Um, on January 1st, the smokable form was added to the list of project products that are available. Because it's still a Schedule 1 drug, it's not available for pickup at pharmacies. Patients have to get recommendation from their doctor, then pick it up from one of the state's nine dispensaries. And Gary Hess from the virtual medical marijuana program, Teleleaf, joins us now with the benefits to those who are eligible. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me this morning. And first of all, let's talk about your role in the industry. You're a veteran of the U.S. Marine Corps, the founder and executive director of Veterans Alliance for Holistic Alternatives, CEO of Teleleaf, and partner of Dynamic Growth Solutions, all organization, organizations which you founded. You sound so busy. And why did you believe it was important to get into this field? Well, it's uh, it's all rooted in personal struggle. You know, I, I experienced combat at the uh, at the highest level, and I transitioned out of the Marine Corps in 2008, and uh, was fed a pharmaceutical pipeline for uh, almost a decade. And then, uh, out of options, uh, you know, I, I literally thought that taking my own life was the best option. So, I gave into the stigmas that prevented me from using cannabis, and it, it helped. And and after in a, uh, the integration of cannabis on a daily basis. It facilitated recovery, stability, and, and, and post-traumatic growth. And essentially, these three organizations were created for people just like myself uh, who are looking for better options uh, to the Western model uh, and, and options for the pharmaceuticals that, uh, that are not giving them the results that they, uh, they want or deserve. Wow, okay. And is the raw marijuana, it's set to cost significantly less than the other options previously available. So is that basically the main reason this is such big news, that the smokable marijuana is now part of the medical marijuana regimen? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's uh, it, it, it's one of the big reasons. Uh, affordability is an access obstacles for patients since, uh, since insurance doesn't cover it. But most importantly, all of our independent pharmacological needs uh, of each patient is different. So uh, a full plant medicine in a raw flower form gives us variety. It's the lowest therapeutic dose. It's the most accurate when it comes to dosing. It has the highest level of bioavailability, which means our body absorbs the majority of it. Uh, and there's definitely a safer alternative to uh, to what's available in the black market. So um, it, it's something patients across America have gravitated to. This makes up over 50% of the market from uh, patient consumer preference. So it's finally time that it's here in Louisiana. And from an inhalation standpoint, it's a, it's a, it's a quicker titration rate and, and gives us the uh, the results that we're looking for immediately. And I did read Louisiana dispensaries think they have the supply to meet the demand. And unlike other states with medical marijuana programs, Louisiana patients, they're not required to carry around a medical card. They just need to get a recommendation from any Louisiana doctor for the medicine and they can pick it up at any of the nine dispensaries across the state. Is that accurate? That is. So a recommendation is the legal word for prescription, but it's, it's, it's treated the same way. And the reason we don't need a card in Louisiana is because it goes into the same prescription monitoring program as any other pharmaceutical that you might be taking. So it's treated the same as it should be as a medicine. And where's the closest uh, dispensary for people in our viewing area in um, South Louisiana? New Orleans is going to be uh, H&W Pharmacy right there on uh, right there on Chapatulas. And uh, we would ask that um, you know, from an affordable and, and safe access point and convenient access point, uh, you can utilize our services. There are other services to utilize. Um, you know, we're created for the patient, uh, by the patient, you know, with keeping you in mind. Uh, and H&W is a great pharmacy right there on Chapatulas where you can gain access to your, uh, to your medicine. Gary Hess, thank you so very much for your time today. We appreciate it. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for having me. We also want to make sure you know the police procedures the new law will prompt. If you're pulled over during a traffic stop, make sure you have identification even if you're not the one driving. The name of the vial must match the name on your license and cannabis must be inside of the